Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventure Multiplex 2 with me, the JY Effect. And uh, I just noticed something. Um, why am I still in creative mode? That's something as well. I did just do game mode zero, but whatever. Um, last episode, I said I had eight encounters left. Well, I counted this thing and I've already done this one. So I have seven encounters remaining. So, let's kick them off, shall we? Let's find out what this big tower of wood is. With an interesting storyline, let's go. Find the six rocks, they will tell you the combination for the door in the attic. Red rocks tell you the numbers, yellow rocks tell you the order. Cool. I'm looking for red and yellow rocks. Yellow dart 9419. Yellow Dart 9419. I'm going to assume that is the creator of this particular short adventure here. Hmm, oh, there's a chest. Boom, six. Okay, so the yellow ones tell us the order. Is he on all the. Yeah, he's on all the one. The uh, signs. Okay, there's no uh, tree chests, is there? I don't think there is. I think maybe I would have been able to see it if there was. Inside we shall go then. I bet one of these is trapped. Boop. Let's just have a look. Oh, there's some steak. Cool. Well, I'll take two of them on my adventures. I wonder if any of these can have anything in. Got to open them all just in case. No. Fern eye. Maybe it's that one in the corner. Yep. Middle number second. Interesting. Let's try all of these. No, they wouldn't be that obvious. Of course they'd put it in the one in the corner. Sneaky devils. Okay. Oh, there is an upstairs. I thought that was all we had to play with then. <sighs> okay, they're probably going to give some kind of hint as to where it is. So it may be around here. Here we go. One redstone. Perfect. Um, oh, is it really worth trying all of them? No, I don't think they'd be quite so cruel. Um, so you know what we'll do? We'll leave it. Because I think I've got the only one that was actually in here. And uh, we'll come back if I don't have all the numbers I need. Okay. What's in this room then? There's fire. Oh, there's a piece of redstone behind the fire. So we have one, five, and six. The middle number is second, so I'm going to assume that is five. And uh, I'm glad I started right-clicking behind the fire, because there is a furnace there. So, good job, me. Uh, I wonder if anything is going to be... You know, it'd really help if when I jumped into the water, I pressed space. I literally then jumped into the water and then just fell down. So, good job, me. I don't think there's anything up here. No. Okay. There's a chest. Smallest number third. That would mean one would go third, and six would be there. So you really actually only need two of the glowstone things. And if there is another glowstone, maybe in the room above or below, although I think this is the attic now, then, um... It would just kind of be pointless because you only actually need two of them. So, what was the order? Six, five, one. So, six, five, one. Boomtown. Okay. Ah, this is the end. There's no story for the end, but it's the end. Congratulations, you completed Yellow Dart 9419's The Rocks. Dude, that was pretty cool. I like things like that. Simple, short adventures. They're damn cool. Did the light turn on? Yeah. Look at these good encounters being good to me lately. This is nice. Um, so, I believe this is actually an encounter. I don't know where the entrance is. But from the sky's last episode, it certainly looked like an encounter. Um, ah, here we go. Oh, the light's right there. Okay. Boom. After a hard day of ploughing, you plant your last crop. You head to the john for some relaxation. 
<laughs> Objective, plant the wheat and do your business. A uh, future house spot. To do list, cut wheat, replant wheat, relieve self. Uh, okay, so apparently my guy um, has some desperate needs to do. And he has to replant the crops first, so... Yeah, I don't know what the significance of this is. I think it's maybe a way of just forcing me to get some wheat, uh, wheat and seeds. Um, there is a hoe. There is Tilly. Tilly and Seedy. Okay. Boop. Um, oh, maybe, maybe I wasn't supposed to harvest it. Maybe I was just supposed to Tilly and Seedy. Damn, I didn't even notice that. So this opened, and oh, there's a chest behind here. The fruits of your labor. Is that accessible from in here? No. Okay. Cool. What we'll about Tilly? Tilly can sit back there. The fruits of my labor, though. Hmm. Flush. Oh no, the toilet is sucking you in. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious me. You see a faint light from above, most likely the way out. Explore the four paths to win your freedom. Okay, let's start with... Let's go clockwise. Let's start with the right. Archery. Shoot all the targets to win. Toilet pipe bow. Nice. I had infinity, didn't it? So I only need one. Boop. Lapis target down. Oh, I missed that one just about. Come on. Boom. Gold target down. Boom. Diamond target down. Kachink. You see an opening behind you. Boink. Okay. Cool. Archery. Boom. Archery down. Um, what is this? A parkour room. You might want some of these. The pressure plate clears your blindness effect. Uh, feather falling four and a lot of food. Uh, we've got some food, so don't need that, but we'll certainly take a random wooden pickaxe. Uh, I don't know what the significance of this is, but hey. And I don't have a blindness effect anymore. It only lasted for a couple of seconds. From here to the gold block. Gold? Oh, the one down there. No, that did not work. I could probably... Oh, I can't, oh they've made it so you can't cheapskate it out around the side there. Um, uh, am I allowed to do that? You released a blockage in a pipe and got some garbage that you can use to help you with your jumping. Ah, mossy cobblestone. Cool. So if I just suck somehow, then I can, I can cheatsy doodle. We'll do that, just to see if that helps. Because I seem to be incapable of hitting this gold block. There we go. And then around some more gold blocks, on top of some ladders. Around here, now to diamond. There we go. And onto that one. Up here. Obsidian. It's about to go dark. Oh, that's what he was talking about when he meant blindness. Okay, well, nice that there's no checkpoints in this, but I guess I can live with that. Parkour isn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, it certainly isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not bad. This looks like a pretty difficult jump, though. That's what, three blocks and up. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. Checkpoint. I guess I could have pressed that um, while I was falling last time. So it is now really dark and I'm having to jump to obsidian, which is one of the darkest materials in the game. Uh, where did that checkpoint go? I think the only thing darker than it now is the fully black coal blocks, which are dark as hell. Okay. So there was a block above me. Oh, I didn't even jump there. God damn it. Um, 
I'll clear the blindness temporarily, but I'm going to get it back as soon as I get up here. I just thought you lot might want to see what's going on, you know? So, I have to stand on this pressure plate anyway. Blindness. There we go. Okay, 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 success. Success. Yes. Boink! Congrats on finding one lever. Lever number one of four. Okay. That's lever number one of four. Does that mean... No, there won't be four in this room, will there? That'd be stupid. Uh, let's get the blindness off. Yeah, there's nothing else in here anyway. So, let's uh, head out of here. Into this room. Sewer map would be... Com oh, no sewer map would be complete without water. Shout out to Jigabov. Our encounters would have no home without him putting this together. <laughs> This button activates pistons on this corner, and I'm assuming they, uh... What did that do? <laughs> Waterfalls are complete! No lever pulling necessary. Cool, cool. Um... Forward? Is this going to have like one challenge of its own, or is it just going to have some doors that aren't open? The maze. Oh, great. Okay, then. Um, we'll try and stick to the outside. I can tell this is the outside. Yeah, this is most definitely the outside. Is this just a ring around the whole thing? Oh, there's a chest here. Gold sword, maze. Now you corn run fast. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, not for very long though. Also, it was a really terrible pun that. Now you corn run fast. What's in here? Another sword. I guess these are supposed to look like corn ish. Aha! Finally! The end of the maze wasn't that amazing. I'm so punny. There are five maze hidden throughout the maze, and you may use any combination of maze, wooden tools, parkour booties, and sewage-covered bows to fill the hopper. Don't you regret throwing out all that wooden stuff? Also, there is a CP behind you. Um, there is a second hopper below, so you need eight items. In total, if you have all of these items. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, in the items in total, if you have all of the items from before, three maze. Okay, dude, we're full. Let's go. Checkpoint. No stealing from the dispenser. Hmm. <laughs> Whee! Um, now where do I go? I've already shot all the targets and pulled the lever. That was two of four. That was three of four. So where the hell is four of four? Unless I have to go and complete a different bit of the maze to get four of four. Four of four. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So that's a checkpoint. So this is basically quicker access to get back here, so I can run back downstairs and get all the stuff from the chest if I needed to. Um. I promise this chest won't have a corny joke. Don't trust me. Uh, don't trust me, lol, I lied, corny joke, nom nom, I'm an apple. Thanks for filling my adventure up with four apples. I need to eat one of them, actually, so we'll eat corny joke. He gave us regeneration for a little bit. Right, I want to 
explore like the other side of the maze. Here we go. Unless they link up, in which, well, that sucks. There's another maze. Chicken above rules. Um, I mean, maze. Yeah, maze. <laughs> this guy. This guy. I oh, really got that one. Oh, this one is amazing. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't already have that one. Be amazed by the disappearing maze. <laughs> this map is really corny. Um, and frustrating if there is no exit. And that's the Duke of Rules one again. Okay. Right, let's try throwing in some of these mazes. Um, let's fill it up, shall we? And you may use any combination of maze, wooden tools, parkour booties, and sewage covered bows to fill the hopper. Okay, I may need to empty out the lower hopper because I threw some things in there that I potentially didn't want to throw in there. Let's take them out. It's already got hopper in. Hopper and a sign. Um, wooden tools. Cool booties, sewage covered bow. Yeah, right, that should work now. I think that just opened a checkpoint though. So. So, I actually had a thought while I was down there. I thought, maybe when they say parkour booties, they mean the literally the parkour booties. Um, so once again, let's take everything out of here and put in parkour booties maze, parkour booties maze, a toilet pipe bow, and more maze. There we go, maze complete. No lever pulling necessary. And I heard a dispenser drop something. So, what happened there then? Get half this crap off my hotbar. So yeah, it turns out I was just putting the wrong things in the dispenser. Uh, here we go. I saw the signs drop off. Yeah. Uh, this corner. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop. Cool. As you leave the pipe, you realise two things. You've really big sewage pipes. You still really need to use the John. Thanks for playing. Woo! Congratulations, I completed Lurking Shadow's Pipeline Predicament. Sounds like a episode of the Pokemon anime, Pipeline Predicament. And at the start of every episode, they get ashed to bloody scream out what the episode name is. Poco Predicament! Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... Those are, those are like series one kind of episodes I'm talking about, not like the new series like 11 or whatever the hell they're on these days. I don't know, I don't really watch it. Um, one and Series one and two were always the best. Three was alright, one and two were the better ones. Anyway, before I start everyone on a Pokemon discussion, this is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a favourite. Follow me on Twitter if you are so inclined as to know what happens when I'm not recording videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.